So here now, House Judiciary member and 2020 presidential candidate, Congressman Eric Swalwell. Good to have you with us uh, this evening. evening. Thank you for being yeah, here. Um, I guess first your reaction to the news this evening that uh, you will not be hearing in your committee from William Barr tomorrow. If the attorney general had nothing to hide, he would come testify to Congress tomorrow. He played a home game today, and his credibility was destroyed. Now it's time to come to the other uh, legislative branch uh, over on the but House why side. Why don't you question him yourself? Yeah. Why, why would you want to put staffers in front of you? Why don't you just do it, you know, do, do your own job? Oh, I, I will question him myself if he comes, and I will be allowed to question him uh, myself. But if you recall, during the... Dr. Ford testimony for the Kavanaugh hearing. Staffers were also used in addition to senators to just supplement the questioning so you could really get to the essence of things. If Dr. Ford is able to do it, why well, is the attorney woman, general as I who's remember, a, a judge who had done a lot of sexual assault it cases was a prosecutor. Was she was a prosecutor. A prosecutor. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. One person. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Not a Ford, who is not Dr. Ford, who's not a lawyer, subjected herself and the attorney general of the United States. Again, what does it say about our attorney general if he can't take questions from another lawyer? That should bother you too. All right. So, so when you watched all of that play out today, and just with regard to what Ted Cruz had to say, he said, look, in the end, it seems like we're arguing over whether or not uh, Mueller and Barr had the same takeaway from this report. You know, why, why do you think it would be that, that Robert Mueller did not find for obstruction in the report? You know, given all of that and given the arguments that we heard today, why do you think that Robert Mueller did not find obstruction on the, on the part of the president? Well, I'll just go with what Robert Mueller said, which was, and I've read the full report, he yeah. said partially because the Department of Justice does not allow him to indict a sitting president. And Barr has mischaracterized that, which is why Mueller did something that was very uncharacteristic for Mueller. He sent a letter to Barr saying he believes that his opinion has been mischaracterized. And that's what's so troubling here is but Mueller has the utmost respect uh, and trust of the American people. He's the one that we should hear from. He's the one that should come next uh, but, but before anyone But in the end, else. you know, I, I think this is what, you know, every, everyone listens to all this back and forth. But in the end, Mueller and Barr agreed that they would not move forward on obstruction and that there had been no collusion. I mean, on those two points, which are the whole basis of the special counsel investigation, they agreed. And with regard to what you just said, um, I, I thought it was very interesting today. William Barr made it very clear that on several occasions, Robert Mueller had, had said that he had, he had separated out the argument that you can't indict a president, and he had still not decided to move forward with obstruction. Let, let's play Bill Barr on that. Special Counsel Mueller stated three times to us in that meeting, in response to our questioning, that he emphatically was not saying that but for the OLC opinion, he would have found obstruction. So what do you think about that? Now, that's not what Mueller said in his report. But also what concerns me a lot, Martha, is that Barr testified today that he didn't even review the underlying evidence to make a decision. So, I mean, as a former prosecutor, that really bothers me because I would never make a charging decision without reading the entire evidence file. And for him to say he didn't review the evidence shows me that he was more interested in protecting Donald Trump and being his lawyer than upholding the rule of yeah, law well, and that, making you know, sure that we're all Let's protected. just assume for a moment that, that that's true. It doesn't well, he said change. It, so I should assume it's me, true. It doesn't yeah. change the underlying finding. He wasn't the investigator. Robert Mueller had a huge team, 19 attorneys, who are you know some of the best people in the country at what they do. They were the people who looked at all the underlying evidence. The burden was on them to do that. Yeah. Then they present their findings, and Mueller and Bill Barr had a choice. He could either make those public or he could just say, no prosecution. That, that, that's their, that is their job. Prosecute you, or not yeah. prosecute. That, that's all he had to say. But instead, they made every single thing public. So I, I guess yeah. this whole you know, sort of jump on Bill Barr thing is a little bit hard for, I think, some people in the country watching all this to, to figure out. Well, the reason that we're jumping on him is, is because... The Mueller team identified 10 instances where the president obstructed justice. In part, they said they could not indict because he was a sitting president. And then Barr testifies today, he didn't even review the underlying evidence. I mean, that's maddening that the person making the final sign-off here makes a decision without reviewing the evidence. I'll just say one other thing. What concerns me the most, because I don't want to relitigate the past, there were 200 pages of links between the Trump campaign and the Russians. And it was clear that they never went into the financial records or the financial dealings between the Trumps 
and the Russians. That is something we're going to do on the Intelligence Committee, but that should also well, that's concern fine. us that's as we go into 2020. And you, you know, yeah. you have, obviously, you guys can move forward with impeachment um, proceedings for the president. I mean, the ball is really in your court now. And you've said that you might, you know, you want Barr to resign or he could be impeached. The president's well, impeachment is on the table. The so yeah. are, you, are you planning to move forward with impeachment of the president or impeachment of Bill Barr? So Barr was supposed to turn over to us the full Mueller report because we've only seen there's an eighth of it that's missing. He didn't turn over that. Well, you can that see today. that if you go into the into the skiff, you can read the whole no, thing. No, no, no. So Martha, that's that's not true. Uh, only Mr. Nadler and Mr. Schiff have been invited. And to their point, how fair is it that they would go in and read the full report, but be told they can't take notes, can't tell the world anything? So if they see something concerning and they say, "Hey, we need to impeach the president because of what we saw," just trust me. Who would go along with that? I mean, I love the two of them, but I would still want to see the evidence myself, and that's, that's their point. Uh, my guess is that if you request a seat, you'll probably be granted that. It sounds like there's such a minimal amount I'm of reaction. Asking, I'm requesting, yeah, Attorney it. General. I, yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame yeah. you. Um, Eric Swalwell, thank you very thank much, you, sir. Good yep. to see you tonight.